Okay, so ah, here's our challenge getting there. This is Jonathan from The Good Caravan. And just to give you a bit of background as to what we're trying to do, I'll tell you a bit more about The Good Caravan in a later video, but fundamentally what we have is we have Starlink, which is currently on its dish. I think you might be able to see that in a second, but we'll see it outside. We've got our square dish for Starlink and the standard Starlink modem router. And what I wanted to do was to be able to mount this, which is a Ubiquiti U6 mesh access point and that's going to go into the roof and provide us with wi-fi coverage for about two or three hundred meters outside of the caravan this is perfectly fine for what we need inside and gives us obviously huge range <laughs> given that it's only a small space so just to let you know what i've done so far i managed to get the um, ethernet adapter from starlink which allows you to connect a different um router or in this case a different access point or an additional access point in order to take this wi-fi and distribute it externally and have outdoor coverage so what i've had to do is to mount a double socket in here which will power the power of ethernet adapter and this will also host the ethernet adapter for the starlink router what i've just done is to create a hole in the ceiling from the outside and then we're going to mount this so just to show you the way in which i have done this this was the I'll turn it this way so this was our tv aerial from the uk it was like this and then it had um, a whole dish on top of there and the cable went through to a single hole and into the caravan completely redundant to here in new zealand as the frequencies of this tv antenna wouldn't be suitable for the country anyway we don't watch tv it's more about internet so what i did was to repurpose this by cutting it out cutting a hole in there and so the design i've come up with is to um I flush mount this through here through the ceiling and then assemble it so i'll assemble it now just to give you an idea of what it is that i've done so the first thing that we need to do is to push this through here it's a very snug fit which is good and then i will be using some silicon around here to make sure that we don't have any water ingress and the beauty of this is while well sealed i'm using the same holes that were already in there to mount this we then have a quite a thick rubber washer which i bought for it was actually for an espresso machine it seemed to do the trick and so that gets fully pushed into there and then what we then need to do i may silicon that but i probably won't because i do want to be able to take this out to so make sure that's fully seated as you can see we've got a um, a very tight seal there so once that comes in through from the outside we then have this bracket which simply slides and keeps it in fact it's the other way around uh, that way keeps it snug against the ceiling and it's flush in terms of how the access point goes in this is one directional but before i do that what i did is I'm, again i managed to find an o-ring that's slightly smaller than this so I'll cover that with an O-ring because I don't want any water ingress from the top. So this is basically usually either desktop mounted or ceiling mounted that way around. And clearly what I'm doing is putting it into the caravan roof uh, this way around. And so I need to make sure that we don't get any water ingress through the top of here. So then that gets pushed in until it clicks. Then we have our ethernet cable coming through here. I then have a magnetic cap which will go on there and we've got the o-ring here so there shouldn't be any water ingress so that's what it will look like on top so just bear with me one second i will go on top of the caravan and we will make that happen in fact i'll take that so i'll be back in a second okay so here we are on top of the caravan i'm going to clean all this up and uh, redo it but i'm just doing a test fit right at the moment so let's move this drill out of the way <laughs> Is the remainder of the room okay so hopefully cool so as you can see this will go through the same holes i'll reseal this but that's firm. exactly the same holes as we had there pull this down make sure that we can get this to the right direction and fully in okay now we just 
drop that on there. So this will act as also like an umbrella, a shield. Water will hopefully come off here, drop off here, drop off there. So we shouldn't get any water ingress, hopefully, but I'll be monitoring it quite closely. And then if needs be, I can put some silicon around there. Ideally, like I say, I don't want to because I want to be able to take this out when we're parked up for any length of time and not use the caravan. And then I've got a plug that plugs this completely and keeps it watertight in place of the actual access point itself. So let's go downstairs. There's a bit of a mess in here, so please forgive me. So there we go. So that's coming through here. I'll try and set up the camera so that we've got a better shot of what I'm doing. Okay, back in the caravan. As you can see, we've got that through. I just orientated it this way just so I can get access to this. We haven't got the underlying locking bracket on just yet. I think I'll put that on after, I think. So we, I've got a very thin, almost 90 degree network cable. So let's try and get that in there into the RJ45. Come on. Oh, there we go. Nice, satisfying click. Okay, so now I'm just going to thread the locking bracket through here make sure i get the serrated teeth in the right place okay okay that doesn't do much other than to be honest with you preventing someone pulling the whole unit from from the top which is highly unlikely so i'm going to tidy up all these cables i'll get a shorter patch lead so now let's take off the poe adapter i'm going to connect this uh, we got that. Okay, so we have the U6 mesh access point from its RJ45 Ethernet port connected to the PoE adapter, which is providing power to it. We then have in its LAN port, it's connected to the Starlink Ethernet adapter, which is in itself connected to the router which we saw before. So, in essence, what that's going to do is still provide us with internet via the Starlink router inside the caravan, but it's also going to provide us with Ethernet outside. So here goes nothing. <laughs> let's let's switch it on. I've already adopted the device in the U6 mesh access point, so we will be good to go. And once it's switched on, so let's go outside, and we should see some flashing lights as it gets adopted. Da, da, da. Here we go. So we're waiting, we've got flashing white lights, and then ultimately it should go solid blue to give us an idea that it is now working. So just going through its boot process. Oh, we had a little flash of blue. Take it, there we go. So perfectly, so that's on and working and connected just do a quick speed test 190 200 yeah it's typically around the 200 mark that i get and we're getting about 14 upload there okay as we can see 20 where are we now ip address 192.168.1230 so that's because we're connected via the access point not via the modem which would be a 202 i think which starlink ip address Let's do another quick speed test on here yeah it seems to be consistent around the 170 mark for the modem outside and 190 so that's really good so let's go outside and we'll see what we get on the phone okay so we're outside now i'm going to put on my wi-fi just connecting to the good caravan doors ah muddy all right let's do connect to the outdoor caravan so make sure we're on there 230 so that's going outside so i'm going to go outside the gate and see how far <laughs> we can get just to show i guess i'm about 30 meters away now let's do a quick refresh Still 200. I'm gonna go up here. Let's see what we get over here. Excuse me, for all fingers and thumbs. Yeah, that's pretty uh, epic. Still doing over 200 megabits per second. 